Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be taking a look at the RC InPower 2306-2500kV premium brushless motor. So yeah, I think at the making of this video, these motors cost £16 each, so not the cheapest motor, but they do look a superb quality. In fact, the first time I ran into this company was actually with the Skyzone S140 and to this date this copter has recorded the fastest speed for a 3 inch and I was just so impressed with them so I'm expecting good things from these however I'm not going to be installing them on a race copter I'm actually going to be putting them on my KISS alien build that I have updated but yeah the quality is really good you know what they are not a particularly light motor I think it weighs 36 grams with the nut on there which is quite heavy I'm just wondering if some of this thick gauge wire is the cause of that though because I mean, we've got silicon here and this is actually I think it's saying 18 gauge wire so yeah, thick wire and I'm going to be cutting some of that off there. So let's take a look what you get in the packaging because I've got four of them. So pretty minimalistic packaging actually, which I'm fine with because you want the motor to be the star. So just have the motor and it looks like we just have one set of screws there. I would have liked to have seen more screws but yeah nothing in there you know we have different arm sizes these days but there you go just one set of screws there hopefully it will fit through the arms of the alien so let's take a look at the features of the motor here so we've got a hollow shaft there and we've got a naked bottom we have got a hex screw on the bottom which i'm always a fan of and this is something i've been really liking here so these naked bottoms here when they are just completely naked what can happen is the wire can catch against the bow and then you know that can cause all sorts of problems you know them heating up and damaging the motor we've got a little lip here that just stops that from happening and yeah seemed like a really nice quality motor alrighty let's take a look at the length of the cable so they're actually staggered a little bit so the shortest one I think just over 150 millimeters and then this one here 160 millimeters and then if we take the little screw here let's see what that one is like if we take it from there so we have got I think that is just coming up for five millimeters yeah so really if you have got say a four mil frame let's just try you know that's going to be fine on the alien but yeah it could be a push you know if you were running a thicker frame but it's going to fit on the alien at least okay so I've attached the motors to the alien and that was pretty straightforward now this model has actually been a project I've been working on for a couple of months it was something that I was going to do just for myself as a freestyle quad and I've basically changed absolutely everything other than the frame so I've installed these motors today but the original copter had the 24 amp ESCs and these are the 32 bit you know the ones with the voice and stuff it's also got the Mr. Steel PDB, the KISS V2, we've got the Tramp HV and Crossfire. And I did film all of that going together, but I'd like to know if you guys would be interested to see how KISS works. See, the reason why I've done this is I started getting fed up with Beta Flight, and I think a lot of people are as well, you know, I do this as a job and if I'm getting frustrated with it then surely people who are getting into the hobby are going to be very frustrated with it and something that I thought was just great about KISS is yeah it's expensive but you know all of those settings that just annoy you are just gone in KISS there's just a, a couple of settings and that's it and it just flies great so let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in me doing a video on how I sort of updated this because it originally had the KISS V1 in there it had the immersion RC the 600 milliwatt one and I think it had the X4 RSB so I basically changed every component other than the frame so let me know anyways let's get and fly this thing and see how these motors perform 
Okay, so I'm going to be quick with this one. These motors just perform perfect with this KISS setup. There's no hesitations whatsoever. They run silky smooth and I'm able to take advantage of the full KISS setup with them. And as you can see, this fly to me is just really smooth, you know. I always find myself as a bit of a jittery fly because I always like to be in control of the copter so I know the tendency today is to just let go of the sticks and let the copter kind of fly itself through maneuvers and you do get smooth footage like that but I've always been someone who likes to always be flying the copter but you can't tell with this KISS setup so yeah really happy with this motor and it's great for a freestyle setup. I do think if you were going for speed and performance, I think a 2207 would do better, but the 2306 is better for the torque. So if you've got a heavy model like this one, I think it comes in at around about 350 grams without a battery and GoPro. So yeah, it's a heavy model. It's good for that and it's performing well. It's performing better than the Luminaire 2206 motors that were on this before which I was finding really gutless but now this is probably going to be my main freestyle setup and I'm really happy with it getting some nice smooth accurate maneuvers which is what I like and yeah I think these motors are decent it's really tricky though because there are so many motors out there there's so much competition and with the higher price and you know them being a fairly unknown name in comparison to the big name brands I think they could have come down a bit on the price a little bit but you know you can take it from me that these motors are really high quality you know when you look at them in the hands and in the performance on the copter I can't complain so I would recommend them so yeah I will link them in the below and as always thanks so much for watching please continue to subscribe cheers